internet, my name is Lave. I hope you're safe and well. So I watched Devs, which is a new TV miniseries written and directed by Alex Garland, who's been involved in some of my favourite films as a writer on Dread and 28 Days Later, for example, and as a director in Ex Machina and Annihilation. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. His latest follows a girl called Lily, a computer engineer working for a tech company along with her boyfriend, Sergey, who mysteriously disappears shortly after he is accepted into a secretive development division of the business known as Devs. So Lily begins to investigate his disappearance and tries to find out what is Devs? Now, as far as the plot goes, that's all I'm going to say because part of the mystery of the show is what it actually is. But fans of Alex Garland will be pleased to know that it's just as existential as Ex Machina or Annihilation, arguably even more so. It's asking and exploring some pretty big questions. And you shouldn't have any complaints with regards to its production values either, with evocative imagery right from the start and movie level quality cinematography throughout with some good visual effects sprinkled about, but it still feels like a grounded world. There's some interesting music choices as well with some carefully selected songs that play from time to time, but it has got its own score as well, which one minute reminded me of detective films of old with a saxy, jazzy type feel to it, but then it will turn into this ominous, choral church type music and then the next minute it will turn into like a techno beat which would be more familiar in a sci-fi type film. Performance wise it was a bit of a mixed bag for me surprisingly. I wasn't entirely convinced by Carl Glusman who plays Sergei or the main protagonist Lily played by Sonoya Mitsuno. I don't want to be too harsh on her though because there were moments where her character goes through moments of shall we say distress and she did really convince me but other moments where she didn't quite so much. I did have a look at her CV and she has worked on other films. She had a non-speaking role in Ex Machina. She plays the, the Japanese type robot, but all of her other stuff has been quite small parts. And I do wonder if the show maybe could have benefited from someone with a bit more experience, maybe. It also took me a little while to settle into Nick Offerman's performance as Forrest, the tech giant and owner of the business behind Devs. Maybe it's because he's wearing a wig the entire time to make him look like a stocky Jesus. I don't know, but I did settle into his performance eventually. Interestingly, Alison Pill is also in this. She's playing a character called Katie, who's a genius in her own right, but she's also got a kind of a chip on her shoulder. She's sleeping with her boss, Forrest, Nick Offerman's character, which really reminded me of the last thing that I saw in Star Trek Picard. There's some similarities between the characters there, but thankfully her character isn't annoying in this and she remains consistent throughout. She is good. Zach Grenier is also in this. He is playing the, the chief security guard behind Devs and he really reminded me of Mike from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, except without any empathy or any redeeming qualities. There's a real mix of established and up and coming actors actors and they mostly do a great job but I don't want this review to get bogged down in just talking about performances. I want to get back to the actual concept of the show without giving away any spoilers. If I was going to put the show into a specific genre I would definitely say it's a mystery thriller but like I said with the music and sound choices it's kind of a blend of a lot of different things like at times I definitely thought oh this is a detective noir story but then I thought no it's more of an, an espionage story with lots of action and and strong violence. There's some pretty gruesome moments in it, but it is 100% science fiction, but based on science fact. Now, I don't claim to be a science whiz or anything, but I've watched en enough documentaries and lectures on science, and I know that at the quantum level, reality gets very, very strange. And this, I think it's episode five, makes you sit through a lecture of the double slit experiment. And pretty much all of what the lecturer says in that episode is true and gives you an indication of where the story goes. And with that in mind, I would actually recommend that you watch Jim Al-Khalili's lecture at the Royal Institute about the double slit experiment before you watch Devs to give you a bit of a head start. But that's why I love Alex Garland so much because he's clearly a deep thinker and a creative person. And I'm sure he does use artistic license here and there, but his films always have a, a scientific quote or or have a root in science fact which I always 
really like. Like in Ex Machina, they refer to the Turing test, which was a real thing. In Sunshine, another film that he wrote where someone quotes that we're all made of stardust, which is true. And that actually does have a little Easter egg in this film. There's also another wink to the camera Easter egg where Nick Offerman's character says something and he's like, oh, it's just a private joke. And at first I was like, oh, that brought me out of the show for a minute. But then I thought, no, in the context of what he's saying, then yeah, it, it does kind of make sense. It is a private joke to him, but yeah, it did kind of make me laugh and, and made me realise that the show isn't really called Devs. I do wonder though if this originally started off life as a concept for a movie and then he developed it into a mini TV show because episodes four, five and six, they weren't boring, but I definitely felt like it slowed down and it made it feel even slower because by episode three, you're already so far ahead of the characters and what they know what is going on, if that makes sense. But I tell you, by episode seven, I was really jazzed and looking forward to episode eight, the last one of the series. And yeah, I was pleased with it. So that's my thoughts on devs and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. The more I think about the show, the more I like it, but I can completely understand those who don't like it. I mean, there is a lot of talk about quantum this, quantum that, determinism, cause and effect, all of that stuff. But I personally really liked it. And I think Alex Garland has used that as a jumping off point to carve a pretty cool story. If you're a fan of Alex Garland, then you will definitely like this. It's, it's kind of like an extended episode of Black Mirror. And there's also another show which it's kind of going head to head with at the moment. This other show is is three seasons in. I don't want to say what it is because that will give the larger plot details away. But yeah, if you're a fan of sci-fi, you will like this. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought down below. And as always, thanks very much for checking out this review. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give it a like and don't forget to share the lave. Subscribe.